Okay, so it seems as though there's some new updates on what's currently happening with the old 343 Studios. People aren't familiar with, uh, that's the uh, new, well, I wouldn't say new. Um, they're the current Halo studio uh, with Xbox. I mean, Xbox acquired them and, you know, they became the Halo studio. Now, they're not known for the good Halo games because that was uh, Bungie back whenever they were still making those games. But they, you know, their time with Halo pretty much ended on Reach. So, most people, I think, consider the Bungie era to be the best era of the Halo games. But it's neither here nor there. This is basically, <clears throat> I'm just giving you an update that this is uh, kind of a, a new, I guess this is a new era for 343 it's not even 343 anymore they just rebranded um, now they're called Halo Studios so I'm guessing they're just gonna be only known for Halo games like if they're if they're using that branding I'm, I'm guessing that's basically the only thing they're gonna be doing like maybe that's what Xbox wants them to do it's just gonna be straightforward Halo only um, I think the only thing that's noteworthy with the biggest thing that is noteworthy with uh, this new change is um, basically they're going to be using uh, the Unreal Engine 5. And if you look at some of the stuff that is just within the engine, even if it's not officially what you're going to get, I'm just going to skip through this video. This is actually the video right here that they basically did the update, A New Dawn. Like this is supposed to be, I don't know if that's anything to deal with any of the future games, A New Dawn. I think they're working on other projects too. So, this is a new era for 343, a complete rebranding of the entire studio. Um, most people, I think, are just taking note that some of the people that work for that studio um, have some ties to LGBTQ stuff. So, that seems to be the biggest uh, point of contention for most people. It's the biggest holdup, anyway, that some of these people do have like pronouns in the bio and... You know, Melissa Boone, I don't, I mean, this is just what some people are talking about. Like, just the fact that a lot of these employees, similar, it's kind of similar situations to other games and studios. Like, once people find out that a lot of people are pronouns and bios, have, you know, rainbow flags and have other things going on, they kind of get a, get a sense that these, the people that are working behind the scenes are probably going to be injecting, you know, wokeism into a lot of games. But that's what people are fearing, too. I mean, is it safe to assume that with every title, um, anybody that happens to be working on it, if they happen to have pronouns and bio, does that mean every game is going to be littered with that stuff? Is it going to have that injected into it? I don't know. I think, you know, with anybody across the board, there has been a lot of cases where, you know, that's been... If they've been a more left-leaning company or a left-wing company, that's the case. Like they have, you know, they they try to put or try to lace in stuff, um, and either it's heavy-handed or it's not heavy-handed. But you know, I don't. I I want to still give it hope, though. That's the thing. I'm always of the the mindset that I want to be hopeful that there's going to be something good there. I don't like to be the doomer type person and think that everything that like is has is t any ties to uh you know lgbtq or anything that has ties to those ideologies is going to be completely trash right out the gate you know you can be weary of it you can be cautious when going into it like okay well i want to see what it's going to be like i want to see what the game is actually going to be before i even buy it or put money towards it fair enough i mean anytime you're thinking uh, it could be a bad thing. You know, you don't even want people to be working on your games that have those things. Just like with Ghosts, Ghosts of Yoti. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, if there's going to be some of that laced in there and it's going to be injected in there. And if you choose not to support that. And if you're like somebody that, you know, wants to wait and see. Like I'm somebody that's a wait and see kind of guy. Just even if. If there's warning signs, there's red flags everywhere. I'm still wait until the fucking game comes out. Wait until the game is officially released to make your final assessment, your final judgment call. If it's going to be a woke disaster, if it's going to be just 
stuff throughout it that's just gonna like turn you off and get like turn you off on the game like you might not want to do anything with it or might not want any dealings with it but I'm always give it a chance if it uh, you know if there's reason to give it a chance you know like if it doesn't seem like they're trying to do too much of that but again who knows um, but yeah I just want to look at some of the stuff that they do in this uh, trailer here these are just concepts I think or just kind of like visuals for what it looks like inside of the engine Unreal Engine 5 again this is Unreal Engine 5 they're gonna be using I don't know what it's really gonna look like this is probably just you know they're just trying to build stuff within this and trying to give you an idea what it might look like it's gonna play a little bit of it I'm not too worried about the whole video because I already told you what they're doing they rebranded you know that's basically all they're doing is get, giving you an update So once Project Foundry had been approved, we took the entire creative team. Of things combined to really give that winter look. And then our third biome was the Blightlands, which is any land that's been completely taken over by the flood. I wanted to give our team the opportunity to really express an alien world, a really alien world, taking something way further than they may have actually done in previous Halo creating an asset, taking this design, now we can really dig into material foundations. What is it actually made of? How is it physically accurate um, to the world? Now we get to take all the, the wonderful legacy assets that we have, bring them to life, and bring them to uh, today's standards. Okay, I mean, I just wanted to kind of go through, you know, that's the latest um, as of right now. So, is there some stuff to kind of get hyped about? Maybe. Could be some cool things on the horizon. Um, wouldn't give your hopes up too high. Get, get your hopes up too high there. Because if they are, you know, going to inject anything into those, those future games, you know, that might be something you're not into. But... You know, I still want to be hopeful. I still want to be somebody that is, you know, looking forward to stuff. Um, not always going to assume that they're going to do the worst case scenario. I don't want to assume, well, maybe is it like be prepared for the worst, but don't like be hopeful that the best will happen, you know? Like hopeful that there will be an, a good outcome. You know, you can prepare that it's going to be, oh, well, this might happen. Could be some woke stuff. Could be some stuff that people don't like. But I don't want to be a doomer. I don't want to be somebody that's looking at all the negative aspects of life because there's so many negative aspects to life now. Um, it always seems that way. I'd rather stay on the positive side of things. Um, just wait and see, basically. And that's what I'm always going to be like, too. That's, like, that's always my mentality towards things is wait and see. If there's actually definitive proof or something that shows you, like, yeah, this might not be a, a game I want to support or something that I want to get behind. Movies or anything, any any entertainment property, you know, I just, you know, you can get you can start your videos and do all your things though. I mean, if you want to get out ahead of it and start saying, "Yeah, I knew this was going to happen," you know. Sure, you can do those things. You can get your clickbaity stuff going on, but I don't necessarily want to do that right off the bat. I want to <clears throat> Be hopeful. I always like to remain hopeful on stuff. Um, but anyway, this is all I'm going to say about this. I am kind of stoked about it. I'm kind of like curious as to what it's going to look like. Not the biggest Halo fan. I want to say that too going into this. Is I'm not the hugest Halo fan. But I've enjoyed some matches of Halo. I've enjoyed some of the campaigns. So I'm more of a Gears guy. 
I was always kind of a Gears guy myself. The original trilogy of the Gears games, too. And then maybe Judgment. But uh, as far as 4 and 5, I was never really a huge fan of them. But that's a point. That's another video for another day talking about Gears of War. Because there's a new one on the horizon for that one, too. There's a new game on the horizon. And it's yet to be seen for that, what that's going to look like. But it looked like a good trailer. Um, uh, anyway, like, share, favorite, uh, comment, especially. Interact with these videos if you actually enjoy them. If you make it to the end of these videos, interact with them. Because then that shows, you know, the algorithm and it shows, you know, me, you enjoy it. So, okay. That's all I'm going to say.